So often we hear students and you guys on YouTube saying, I just got a puppy. Should I buy this or should I buy that? Should I do this or should I do that? Should I train this or should I train that? And it can be very, very confusing, but it doesn't have to be. And that's exactly why I sat down with 21-time world champion, Kale McCann, to make things easier for you and your four-legged family member. I'm Dan, welcome back to McCann Dogs. Betting or no betting in the crate? Initially, first time you get the puppy home, I would say no betting to begin with. Uh, and then leading into being able to add a bed. As, as long as you're not going to chew it or pee on it. Couch or no couch? Like in your home? Or the dog being on the couch or not? Uh, dog being on the couch. <laughs> I mean, I think you should have a couch in your home. <laughs> Our dogs are allowed on the couch. Um, I love that I have that role. Uh, however, the um, possibility of being t able to have couch privileges is if they will get on and off without question when we ask, like, nicely. And if they don't, is there, like, a uh, detention period? Then I take them by the collar and I say, get off. <laughs> collar or no collar in the house? So puppies always have a collar. Always. Because I need to be able to attach a line or whatever. but. I will admit as they get older and they're fully trained, I actually sometimes like to take a collar off because I don't like when the dog gets the collar line because I think they look very beautiful without a kink in their fur. Ken's going to cringe at this question because he thinks a collar should be on all the time, which is valid because he's a firefighter and like in a moment of danger, it's probably better to have a collar on with identification. Pee pad or no pee pad? I'm not a pee pad person. I feel like it opens up more problems than solutions. The only time I would say pee pad would be okay is if like you live on like the 20th floor of an apartment building and the pee pad's like on your porch or something. Then I could see how it would be helpful. But if you have a house with a door and a place to go to the bathroom outside or to the washroom outside, then I would not be using one. Picking up your puppy, crate or lap for the first ride? Uh, I do lap, despite maybe what you may think. Um, I usually have a towel, and I just hold on to the puppy. I think it's like a good bonding thing. Also, the puppies are usually like very overwhelmed in that moment. Um, so I will usually uh, hold them on the way home. But that's, I, I don't do it after that. After, after, after we've done that and we're in a car, the puppy will be in a crate up until the day they die in a car for safety reasons. But that very, very first ride home, I will I will hold them. I won't be like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, or anything like that. I would just hold them like a normal person. Like a normal person or a normal dog? Uh, a normal person. But although maybe normal people do the goo goo gaga thing, I'm not too sure, but like, I wouldn't do that. First night home? Yep. Uh, new food or breeder's food? Uh, first night home, probably breeder's food. And then the following day, start a little mixy mix. Real bone or synthetic bone? Yeah, I don't use real bones with my, uh, personally with my own dogs. Um, I know lots of people do and I, I think it's okay. But, um, if we're talking puppies, um, and my older dogs, I personally use like nylon bone or like a Benny bone or something like that. Um, if it's a puppy puppy, then I might use something that's a bit softer. So it's a bit more encouraging while their mouths are more sensitive. Um, but my dogs don't get cooked bones, real bones, or anything like that, really. Um, I just feel sometimes they can be unsafe. So I stick with what I know is safe and healthy for them. Dog park or no dog park? Never a dog park unless um, I would be completely by myself. And there was no chance of anybody else coming in. And the second somebody did come in, I would leash on, leave, even if I was there for 10 seconds. Uh, because I am never going to put my dog in an opportunity where there could be risk, where I don't know that person or that dog. Um, because I just would never want to put my dog in a dangerous situation. Um, and I know that there's other ways that I can socialize them that's safer and better for me and the dog. Flexi or leather leash? Um, leather leash. 
Uh, however, I do like a retractable leash for um, very old dogs. Like I have a, I have two dogs now that are hard of hearing and I find the flexi, like the retractable leash very helpful um, because my older dog, if I use a long line with her, she can't really move. So she gets all tangled. Um, up until that stage though, I would say leash because again, I'm trying to teach them not to pull on the leash. And if I'm using a retractable leash that constantly has tension, it's hard for the dogs to understand about the idea of leash pressure because the leash pressure is always there. Purebred or mixed breed? Oh, I don't feel that you can choose one or the other. Okay, I'll pick mixed breed because I can't stand people who are like pro only having a purebred. I think that's so dumb. They're mix missing out. Mixed breeds are like the best of so many worlds mixed together. So I love them. But I love me a Border Collie and a Toy Poodle. Small dog or large dog? Small dog. Large being medium large. Oh. Like anything outside of small dog. If I had to choose one, I would say um, like like between 20 and 40 pounds would be my ideal. Uh, however, after owning Hippie Shake, I could see us owning a small dog also because they're so fun. Dog mom. Ew. Pitbull. Love. Stubborn dog. Doesn't exist. X-Pen. Get one. Treat training. Lovely. Perfect. Good idea. Kijiji dog. Nope. Pee pad. Mm. Time waster. Purebred. Great option. Prong collar. Not necessary. Rescue dog. Depends. Dog park. Dangerous. Mixed breed. Love. New puppy. Uh, I want to say love, but also like be ready. Dog agility. Passion. Shot collar. Not necessary. Gentle leader. Could be necessary. <laughs> Fur baby. N not my jam. Now that you have all the good information that you need, it's important to put that all into a plan and actually a schedule. To be able to do that, you're going to want to check out that video right there. And on that note, I'm Dan. Happy training.